Hello, my dear children. Good morning, all of you. Today for class 12, continuation of indefinite integrals by partial fraction. What is fraction? That is known to you very well. You have learned in the previous classes. Now, how the partial fraction is applying in integration that I want to show. The rational function, different type of rational function, that is non-defeating linear factor. The x minus a, x minus b, x minus c. The, these are the factor not repeating. Same factor you are, is not in denominator. And in this case, repeating factor, x minus a whole square, that means x minus a and x minus a. That is repeating. And here, non-repeating quadratic fa factor quadratic factor that is x square plus bx plus c. This is not, uh, cannot be factorized and repeating quadratic factor, repeating quadratic factor. This, this, this is the quadratic factor, this is the quadratic factor. How they are breaking in partial fraction that you have to notice carefully. In this, in, in the case of non-defeating linear, a by x minus a plus b by x minus b plus c by x minus c. This frame you have to remember. In case of repeating, that is a by x minus a plus b by x minus a whole square plus c by x minus b. In case of non-repeating quadratic, that c x a by x minus a plus b x plus c by x square plus bx plus c and repeating quadratic factor that is ax plus b x square plus ax plus b cx plus d by x square plus cx plus d there are more you will get in your book for the sake of explanation i have taken this on the basis of the uh, factor how it is given in the sum for that I am giving one solution. The sum is given, evaluate integration x plus 1 y x into 1 plus x e to the power x whole square dx. Exactly this is not in the frame of uh, applying formula. First we have to simplify how I am simplifying, notice carefully you have to multiply numerator and denominator by e to the power x. By multiplying, we are getting x plus 1 e to the power x by x into e to the power x into 1 plus x to into e to the power x whole square dx. Now we are getting the frame. So we have to let, let x into e to the power x equal to t. You know very well what we are considering that we have to differentiate. And this differentiation you have learned at class 11, UV method. UV method that is x first function unchanged, x differentiation of the second first unchanged differentiation of the first. In this way both sides we have to differentiate. And by differentiation, we are getting x e to the power x plus e to the power x dx equal to dt. By uh, simplifying, we are getting x plus 1 e to the power x dx equal to dt. Now we have to replace this in the expression. How is it going on? Please notice carefully. This thing, this thing and this thing exactly same. So this will be replaced by dt. Therefore, therefore i equal to this i equal to x plus 1 e to the power x dx. In place of that we may write dt. And in place of x we have written t that is t into 1 plus t whole square. Now we are getting the expression which will be breakable in partial fraction. Now uh, look at the partial fraction which way this is the repeating factor 1 plus t whole square repeating factor that is this 
frame uh, we have to apply. So uh, it is coming 1 by t into 1 plus t whole square equal to a by t plus b by 1 plus t plus c by 1 plus t whole square. Here whole square is coming middle but here whole square is coming last. Why? That depends on problem. Here whole square is giving at last, here giving in middle. This is why you have to take according to problem. So after that we have to simplify. This step directly you may do for your easier uh, understanding. I have done more step. So LCM of this that is t into 1 plus t whole square then a into 1 plus t whole square plus bt into 1 plus t plus ct. Then uh, this expression and this expression will be cancelled that is t into 1 plus t whole square t into 1 plus t whole square after cancellation it is coming 1 equal to by uh, simplifying a plus 2 at plus at square 1 plus t whole square that is known to you very well a square plus 2a plus b square applying that formula then by multiplying bt and bt square plus ct then for the easier uh, understanding i have taken ot square plus ot plus c equal to by simplifying it is coming a plus t whole square plus 2a plus b plus t into t plus a now c equating the coefficient of t square and t and the constant term we have coefficient of t square see this the t square here is t square and here is t square that coefficient of t square that is a plus b so a plus b equal to 0 and coefficient of t that is 2a plus b plus c so 2a plus b plus c also equal to 0 and constant term a equal to 1 a equal to 1 this you have to notice very carefully. This is the vital for this uh, chapter. Now by simplifying, we are getting in place of A, we got the value of A, that is 1. So B equal to minus 1. And after putting the value of A and B, we are getting C equal to minus 1. After that, we have to put the value in the expression. How it is uh, coming? Notice very carefully in this chapter, this is the vital portion. You must notice and you must be attentive. Therefore, I equal to 1 t into 1 plus t whole square equal to we may write in place of a we may write value of a that is 1 and in place of b we have to put the value of b that is minus 1 that is minus plus minus 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 1 1 plus t and in place of c we are getting minus so in place of c we will write minus 1 minus 1 by 1 plus t whole square <coughs> after that we we have to find out this that is uh, integration dt by t into 1 plus t whole square i equal to that is i i equal to this equal to integration dt by t minus integration dt by 1 plus t last integration dt by 1 plus t whole square after this then we have to integrate this 3 so by integration this we are getting in the form of integration that is uh, log t and here is minus so minus log 1 plus t and here minus minus plus and 1 by 1 plus t plus c and now we have to listen how the integration of dt by 1 plus t whole square is coming this listen this so this portion this portion we may take 1 plus t equal to v so 
what we are considering that we have to differentiate that is dt equal to du so we may write that is dt dt equal to du and 1 plus t 1 plus t equal to u that is u square so u to the power minus 2 du then by applying the formula u minus 2 plus 1 by u minus by minus 2 plus 1 plus c by simplifying we are getting u minus 1 by minus 1 so minus 1 by u so value of u that is value of u 1 plus t 1 plus t so minus this is minus minus so here is minus and result of integrating of this we are getting minus 1 by 1 plus t this is why minus minus it will be plus so it will be 1 by 1 plus t for uh, then indefinite for this plus c i think it is clear now we have to only put the value of t that is log t value of t that is x into e to the power x so in place of t we have to write x into e to the power x minus log 1 plus x into e to the power x plus 1 by 1 plus x into e to the power x plus c this is the answer after this if you do correctly then you will get full marks that is 6 now you have to understand whether it is clear to you or not how will you test my suggestion you must copy the sum and without looking the solution do in your copy after doing you must check whether your solution and giving solution is coming exactly or not if it if you see it is exactly coming then you will easily understand it is clear so in this way you will get interest on this chapter and i believe that you are getting interest so um, still if you feel any sorts of difficulties you must communicate okay thank you everybody